Hello ladies and gentlemen, Frodenstack here and welcome back. It has been four months since I last recorded a video on YouTube. So yeah, it's been a while. It feels weird doing this again. <laughs> but I am back. And what better way to start us off with the return of the channel with Divide and Conquer version 5. Now I promised a while back I would do this. Um, we did a little faction vote. And Ed's wife, as you can see, we are, this is the faction we're playing, came out uh, pretty much on top. Woodland Realm coming second, and I think Dorwinian came third. But yeah, Ed's wife came first, so that is the faction we are playing. I also did a faction vote for Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones. Yes, that will also be returning to the channel. Um, we did a vote for a minor, sort of minor houses, not, not massive ones like the Targaryens or Great Houses. And the Valerion Dynasty came out on top out of the five options. With Farman, Red, Red Wayne, no, Farman, Rain, Blacktide, uh, what was the other one? Is it Mandalay? I'm not sure. Um, it's been a while since I've looked at the vote. But yeah, I remember uh, Valerion Dynasty coming out on top. I can't remember the other one. I think it was. Um, uh, what bloody house was it? What was it? One of the Ironborn houses, I'm pretty sure? Nah, whatever. Maybe Hightail. I, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, Valera and Dynasty came out on top. So that is indeed the faction for Seeker 2 that I'm doing to be playing fairly soon. Or Dynasty, rather. Um, so that will be happening soon. Now, I was originally going to do it like a six, like a little sequel to the Egg on the Conqueror run we did. Little series, mini-series. Um, unfortunately, the Egg on the Conqueror save has just disappeared. Uh, I can't seem to find it. I did have a little look at some sub ones I was using and I still can't find it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that save is just unfortunately lost. So what I'm doing is a new CK2 series um, focusing on the Blackfire Rebellion, the Rebellion, um, a series of Rebellions, well the first one to be exact. Mainly because the Blackfire Rebellion is just a very interesting time period and I'm going to sort of do a scenario where the Blackfires win and the Targaryens are pushed into exile and the Valerians have gone with them. And obviously some other houses as well will probably go with them as well. And essentially it will start off a like a series where the Valerons are in exile with the Targaryens. And the goal is to basically restore the Targaryens to the Iron Throne. And doing that will probably result need, in, need for the Valerons to create their own kingdom uh, somewhere in Essos or the Summer Sea. And build up a massive empire and then eventually attack the Iron Throne. Maybe gain the support of the various Lord Paramounts who are too in charge to oust the Blackfires, oust, oust the Blackfires from the Iron Throne and put the Targaryens on their rightful place. And which will probably end up on, would be quite an interesting series, especially as we would basically be spending the most of the series keeping the Targaryens on the throne until an opportunity comes up where the Targaryens annoy us so much to the point where the Valerians get sick of it and like, right, let's take the throne. Um... And that will be quite interesting, I think. That's something I'm quite looking forward to. And what if I am looking quite forward to as well. I mean, I mean I've been toying with the CK2 idea for ages now. And it's been on my mind for ages. And like, the ideas of running from my mind of ways we could do the whole Blackfire Rebellion scenario with the Blackfires winning the throne. And how that would happen. And what different events in, in the Westeros could lead to that. However, and wife, it's going to be a nice uh, Divide and Conquer campaign. I haven't played version 5 yet, so that'll be fun. Apart from the various like series from Gallo, I used to watch him playing version 5. Obviously, Gallo is no longer around anymore. He's been gone since the end of December, wasn't it? I think he did. So he's no longer around. And there's not really that many Divide and Conquer YouTubers around. I mean, it's Izzy. There's a couple around dotted about. Not, not many big YouTubers do DAC that much. Apart from like the bigger ones but they're not really like they don't do DAC as like a main content and while I wouldn't say DAC is my main source of content there's sort of the stuff that I've done quite recently at the moment especially with Middle Earth and Third Age um so yeah but yeah I love the like little like the opening to home screen uh it's just like the the, the artwork it looks amazing I love it um but yeah I'll talk a bit more later on about what's going on um we want the battle time on. I'll go for long victory. That might take a while though. Yeah, maybe. Mm, no, I will go for long. Our long victory conditions literally is just hold 40 reason, including Ligo. Ligo, Ligo. Oh, yeah, it's another thing. I'm going to be butchering the pronunciations because <laughs> this is because is heavily um, based on the Gaelic tribes of Scotland, 
which we all know damn well I'm going to mess up the pronunciation of on multiple occasions. So please, I beg for forgiveness in the comment section already, because I know damn well I'm going to get comments saying, that's not how you pronounce that, pronounce it like this. And I'm like, yeah, yeah okay, cool. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we won't read this bit. I'll let, you, I'll let you pause the video now if you want to read for that, but I will read like the opening messages, because that's kind of interesting. A lot of it's kind of cool. Uh, start location at a game. Yeah, can my phone shut the fuck up? Thank you very much. Oh god, that's been being demonetized already. I forget YouTube is now a cesspool of absolute <laughs> of non modernization at all. Like I've had to like change so many of my videos in the last couple months, and I'm sorting like making it so I can have actual ads run on them. And not like YouTube really gives me any source of income. It doesn't really matter. But like I'm just it's just, it's just frustrating. It's like, oh, for God's sake, just let me, just let me earn a couple pound or so for my videos, please. <laughs> but yeah, those are the special features, uniting other clans, unconventional recruitment, Athmore reclamation, uh, citizen strongholds, and ambush specialists, which we'll probably make use of if we can. But yeah, manageable cities, uh, we will keep the battle time on because I know uh, Medieval 2 is a flawed game that sometimes the battles don't work properly and they bug out and you're stuck. Like if you're in defensive siege battle or um, you're defending against someone and the AI just refuses to attack you. It's just a case of the fuck are they doing? Oh, there you go. I need to like curb my language. It doesn't help because my girlfriend just swears a lot <laughs> and it rubs off on me. But yeah, I'll go through over like the last four months what's going on. I've changed jobs. I'm not going to go into great detail because I just really need it. But I've changed jobs. So I'm no longer at Legoland. I'm currently at Ernest Jones as a sales associate, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. It's a lot more interesting than Legoland in ways. It's a lot less stress, definitely. Although there's still a lot of things at Ernest Jones you need to learn. And it's a little bit overwhelming at times, but I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. And I'm happy out there, which is all you need from a job, really. Um, I'm also in a relationship, as the girlfriend mentioned, just probably revealed, which uh, obviously we've been happy together for the last four months now. It also meant, uh, obviously not doing YouTube much, I've also actually changed the setup as well. So I'm actually currently in a different room for my recording, um, as there's a double bed in my other room now, as my girlfriend's essentially moved in at this point. Well, she has, um, due to different reasons. I won't go into those reasons, but essentially my girlfriend's living with me as well. Uh, with my mum and dad, so it's kind of cosy at the moment. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, today may be a, a day where I get a lot of recording done as my girlfriend's going out in the evening with some friends uh, from work, so I might give an evening to record a bit more. Um, if not, I might not have that much time to record, but we'll see. Um, I, I don't really record when <laughs> when she's around because it's sort of, I feel a bit like mean. Like, okay, it's your day off and my day off. I'm going to go record for like an hour. See you later. No, <laughs> I just feel guilty, so like I'm not about that. We tend to play games and stuff like together, so you know. Uh, she doesn't play strategy games like the ones that we play, like the ones that we play for the channel. So, so really, the YouTube stuff is all sort of my own stuff. Um, obviously, I haven't ruled out the idea that my girlfriend is loading screen taking ages, whatever. My girlfriend may or, may or may not at some point appear in the video. I don't know what it might be. We'll see what happens, I guess. But um, she may make an appearance. This loading screen is taking much longer than planned. Okay, cool. Oh, here we go. But yeah, I obviously moved stuff about in the house. Uh, the double bed being in my other room, which is where I used to record. It was where my desk used to be. And now it's sort of just got the double bed there. And I've got the TV and the various consoles in front. So we can sort of sit, sit in bed and just play games and stuff like that. It's really cool. Uh, and I'm in the second room. So, this, so the other room basically has is a lot smaller, I'd say. Although this, we've got a single bed in here, so it's kind of like annoying. But um, I'm sort of waiting on my grandma's flat to sell. Uh, essentially, my grandma's in the care home. And she's waiting for an old flat to sell, so she has more money to stay in that care home. But that's like just taking it as a long process at the moment. Uh, so right now, we've got the single bed in here. Which is annoying. <laughs> which is fine. I mean, I've got space for like, my desk and stuff. But like behind me, I don't have a lot of room. Because like I've got to move my chair like into the corner of the room. And then get off the chair to yeah, it's complicated. Whatever, um, but yeah, it's 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 fine. <laughs> I've got a lot of Lego stuff because I've been doing a lot of Lego building and stuff like that. My girlfriend loves Lego, and so do I. So we just we have built it sometimes. She loves the uh, cars, so we end up building Lego and stuff like that. 
And I've got a few more display uh, units and stuff around to store the Lego, which is quite useful. Uh, it's definitely needed with the amount of Lego I have. I built the Cantina, like the Lego Mos Eisley Cantina, a couple months ago, back in the end of, I think just around the time I was getting to get, we were getting together, me and my girlfriend. Uh, but yeah, we've been together four months now, and we're very happy. We've been on the week holiday recently. We've been on lots and lots of trips. We went to theme parks, been to zoos. We've done loads and loads of stuff. Uh, we are going on holiday again, hopefully in two weeks in September and October. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. But, you know, never thought um, I'd actually get a girlfriend. But there you go. <laughs> Sometimes it happens when you least expect it. But, uh, yeah. And with YouTube generally, I was just sort of... The motivation wasn't there as much anymore. Especially my girlfriend around and other things going on in life. Like changing jobs and stuff like that. And so I just sort of, I did what was best and stopped doing YouTube a bit because always I just feel like if I was, you know, I, I found it would have found it difficult to make content anyway, but, um, but yeah, I, I felt as if like I couldn't really do YouTube. I don't know how loud the keys are going to be because the microphone audio sounds different. I don't know what to do. I, I've gone through and changed a bunch of settings, so I've got it the best as I can, but like it's still iffy. <laughs> I, in my mind, it's not the best as it can be. But, I mean, it's going to have to do, of course. Um, what else do I need to say? Oh, yeah, so I won't be doing much YouTube uh, stuff with my girlfriend's around in the evening, stuff like that. So, really, because I work less hours than she does at work, she works a lot more than I do. Um, I have a lot more free time. Like, I have more days off than she does when I'm usually on my own. Um, there are some days where we have days off together, but, uh, now and again, which is nice. It's, uh, week Next week, we've got two days off together, which would be lovely. Um... But yeah, we sort of just work around our work schedules, time off and stuff like that. We don't really ask for time off necessarily. We just sort of leave it up to chance. And sometimes uh, there's more chance that I'm going to be off with her uh, than she'll be off with me. But um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so what I'll be recording is probably like in the daytime. Like when I'm like, when obviously she's not here. Um, I'll be doing recordings and maybe the evenings if she's out for like uh, socials and work socials and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, the, the times when she's not around, I'll be recording probably. Occasionally, we might end up doing videos together and stuff like that in, in the future. I don't really know what yet, but let's see. Uh, to provide information, good about to declare war on everyone. Well, <laughs> declare war on one person and allied with the others. Okay, welcome to the Vine Conquer. I won't read for all this, uh, but this is basically this is useful for like key features and stuff like that. So I'd recommend you read it. Uh, for those that are new to the Vine Conquer, I'm not. Uh, I've been playing this for a while now, since a couple of years back. So, yeah. It's a little read of everything, shall we? How long is this? Uh, should we read for all this? Ah, uh, go on then. We are beset by danger at every turn. Wild wolves prey on our own people. But we're hunting them at all times, bringing them down but never destroying them. Much like the world and our people. We were greatly troubled with the highest of men. Not so high when they came... And Saturn came. I haven't read stuff in ages, so forgive me if I'm going to slur a bit. I speak professionally for work, so this shouldn't really be an issue. <laughs> we were greatly troubled with the highest of men. Not so high when they come and savage your forest, tear down the bulk of what was your home and our capital of old, Athel. That is bitterness of many hundreds of years time of times passing, and we do not keep it. It flows for us like water through hands. Our greater friends are Druidane, not the Dunedain. But we respect them and remember what it was like to have true unity, order, and fealty. Protection and persecution. Long we have lived on, upon a, a double-sided coin, an ironic existence. Both hunted for our actions in defence of our forests and needed for the wars in the north. The levy men of Cartland we were, we lived with honour, fought and died for it, and never gave in. Our history sustains us, and we will see it restored. It is what keeps us sleeping at night, albeit with one eye open. And what gives us our courage to gather around campfires and talk of better times, of the histories passed down through generations, through generations our histories are. And they fill us with hope and sustain lives that are desperately in need of a common cause. Perhaps there is one among us, ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> who will lead the clan to unite and take on our foes with common voice and hand. We are a mixed people. Within our borders lie villages of fisher folk, deep in the woods of great bowmen, hunters. Whilst in deep in the open ground are villages of people, who battle each day to remember our past and carry on the hope that will be restored. Our people are divided, and it may be that we unite by force 
or under the banner of one such as you, my chieftain, a great leader who can unite us and unify the scattered remnants of our people is what we need. And I feel you may be the one we have waited for. This gives me great pleasure and is an honour to serve you. While we lack in old military skill, we make up for in our tenacity and honour in combat. We follow our chieftains to the death and would sustain them even beyond this. From the old ruins our people will come, from the fishing villages and from forest and plain. They will fight and die for you without question, and with considerable ferocity. It is not that we lack skill, we lack unity enough to drill men to bind them together and fight with discipline like other men do. Unlike the men of Dunland, we do not hold the bitterness of past history. We use it to look forward, not to strain to see the flip side of that coin, and keep hatred in our hearts. The men of ancient Cardland are on the rise, and the foes that prey upon us had best be careful, lest they find a united cause that binds us in bands of iron, and them in the shadow of death. We are ready to war with others to take our cause and unite again. That is enough for now. Decent, decent text. A little confusing to read, but I haven't read stuff in ages, so it's my fault. <laughs> and this is the, obviously, the Makani reclamation, or Makani. Is it Makani or Makaini? I, you're correct, man, I'm sure. We are the Makaini. Long have we served as guardians of Alkford and the clan moot itself, and now once again does one of our own, our chief and Tremac, serve as a speaker of the moot. And yet times have never been more dire. The clans of Erin's wife are now beset on all sides by foes with few friends in this world, and there are whispers of the shadow mustering its strength in the far east. Our traditional rivals for the speaker position, the Lion Leodan, have abandoned the clans that now crouch behind the walls of Londair. To the east, our warlike kin in Dunland are used as pawns by the White Wizard, and once again march against us. To the northeast, there are rooms of growing powers within the Misty Mountains. Before we can turn our attention to those threats, we must deal with matters at home, for the clans stand at Nadir. Bandits, usurpers, and traitors have overtaken the ancestral clan seats of our fellow clans, and only out further is still held by the peoples of this land. As expected, the clan has long been in debate with each clan, arguing that their home should be reclaimed first. Finally, however, a decision has been made in these matters. The Speaker Tremac shall be authorised to command the full might of the clans, and has been tasked with reclaiming all of our lands one by one. To assist, the secretive and respected Dub Chief Donife has conveyed the approval of his order and will fight with us personally. The other chieftains cannot fight with us at their time is consumed by managing the effects of this great turmoil upon their clans. Many people have been displaced and many livelihoods lie in ruin. The chief and other Filani, however, are ever ready for battle, and Bloodshed has issued us a challenge. Should we reclaim the seat of the Filani, the ancient Dunane castle of Argond, then he will personally lead his honor guard into the field. Sadly, therefore, the vast majority of the clans can only aid us indirectly for the moment, but as we construct various industries befitting each clan, then they will call forth their levies to fight. Furthermore, the reclamation of each clan seat will allow us to call and support of the elders of each clan as their stores of arms and armours are returned to them and housed in bespoke muster grounds. In time, the foolishness of the Leodan must also be seen to, and they must be made to face reason or perish. Although no clan calls the barren lands of Saraline and Leofert, is that La. <laughs> Here we go. La Fioran, I. forgive me. Home, <laughs> we must also reclaim them to secure our borders. Finally, the threat of Dunham must also be addressed. Our wayward kin have sworn themselves fully to the White Wizard, preparing to seek vengeance for the crimes of the past rather than look to the future. Labouring us as weak willed fools, they would rather die in battle than seek a peaceful re reconciliation with us. Our only option would be to defeat them in, battle they cra in the battle they crave, and show them the proof of our conviction. We are confident, however, that many peaceful Dunlendons ostracised on account of their forgiving natures will join us if we establish our muster grounds in their lands. Once these threats have been dealt with, then sh we shall turn our attention to the future. Whether that must be, the recla reclamation must come first. So, we need to basically take those runes, essentially. Okay, that is essentially it. Okay, so one quick thing I'll go before I jump straight into the campaign is that YouTube videos probably won't be as frequent as they were in the past. Not that they were that frequent, really. Well, they certainly won't be done with much haste. I do love the uh, 
sort of uh, tribal music. I mean, I'm pretty sure if some of the themes are actually come from Trevor Morris's Vikings, and maybe Last Kingdom as well. Um, but yeah, there's obviously quite a few changes that happened to the end version 5 map for the Wild and Conquer. So as you see, server models look much different. Um, I will pass you this recording with a bit of a test to see what the audio is like as well. Let me up a little bit. But yes, out third with the clan moot. And obviously it tells you a bit more about the clan moot as well. Won't go for a little bit to go with Beer Hill Day. That's uh, Ed's wife. And it also tells you a bit about... Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, uh, it tells you the terrain, that's it. Uh, we'll see you the Makaini, which tells you about the Makaini. Uh, do you want to read for this? Yeah, why not? Although the seven clans of Anne's wife may rule in unison from the clan moon to Alkfur, they're aided by the guidance of the dub sheaf. Each clan has their own clan seat elsewhere, that is their ancestral home and centre of power. This region holds one such clan. This clan seat is the ancestral home of the Makaini clan, they are the noblemen of Anne's wife, wielders with strong axes and calculating minds. They are also one of the few clans who are settled rather than leading a semi nomadic life and their livelihoods supported by the generosity of other clans. Although they are not the most numerous of the clans, their skill has allowed them to rise as a preeminent clan, and their chieftains often serve as a mood speaker. They are also the guardians of Alkfield itself, and it is their strength that has served it well often in times of strife. Their origins is surrounded in mystery, although some whisper they are descended from clansmen who held close ties to the Man of the Mountains. Their emblem is their dual cross axes, of course, is from the region of the full might of the Makaini Kami Mustard. So you could say there might be a little bit of a ancestral look to maybe conquer Rohan um, potentially I'm looking at Gondor Rohan up here <laughs> because of our distant heritage with the man of, men of the mountains who once ruled over that area which is funny because he plays the men of the mountains and then he uh, did our last line series uh, god when was that was that end of 2020 or 2021 uh, around that point I've uh, got a meeting hall so sign off we've got a seat of Makani I just read through that fishery uh, feasting Hall, an inn, uh, Feasting Hall obviously uh, produces more culture, land clearance, and roads. Now I have made a few changes to the faction, uh, what was it I did that I was... Did I change the money? I don't know if I changed the cash, I might have done. Uh, probably I thought the cash was really low, and I was like, Jesus, it needs a bit more. Now my end wife starts with neutral, so we have the beauty to choose where to go. Um... Choose to either join with our enemies or join with Dunland and Isengard or attack um, or ally with Gondor and the good guys, which I'm more lean towards to because Dunland's are going to get in our way when it comes to reclaiming their stuff and Isengard's going to help them because being allies, that's what like, Isengard's going to join them, obviously. Um, so we're interested to see how it plays out. If I can ally myself with the Northern Factions and the good guys, and I will. If I can't, then we may have to look towards other alliances. Uh, perhaps the Arden I, maybe. Uh, so this is Alkford. Oh yes, that's one key change I need to show you. Is I've added a family tree. I didn't change the name of the faction. I could have changed the colour. I might change the colour and name of the faction when we reclaim, uh, reform the Kingdom of Athelmore. I might do that. I'm pretty sure the only thing that changed is the... I don't know if... I think our name changes, maybe. But I'm not too sure. I might have to... Like, might, Customize a bit and change up the things in in the files, maybe because I still remember how to do that. Now I'm not gonna go through adding loads and loads of like custom stuff, like custom generals, because as much as I liked adding custom generals, I feel like I added way too many, and it makes the game a little too easy. Sometimes it's fun, but sometimes it's also kind of fun to have smaller, have less generals and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna customize some things. Uh, the things that I will customize is the family tree. And the bodyguards of generals that we start off with. I think that's that's fair. So we have a family tree. Um, now to say that Don Kaif is from the uh, Dub Sheaf clan. So what we're going to say is that when Tremac, when obviously Dun Don Kaif was born, 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 what? Born. <laughs> uh, Don Kaif actually went off and went off with the Dub Sheaf and actually was. Uh, spent a lot of time in the Dubsheaf. And basically he's become basically one of the Dubsheaf members. So we basically have a um, faction leader who's more Makaini. And then his son who's more takes off after the Dubsheaf way. And he's sort of the the leader of the Order of Anne's Wife. The Dubsheaf Order of Anne's Wife. He's sort of in charge of that. 
uh, leadership now. His father was, and then he passed. His father passed the leadership on the Tremac. Tremac comes with Hunter's Guild Elder, so he gets a bit of command when it comes to ambushing. Got a clan Elder. This Elder is very respected. He's got that probably because he's um, in the forest, he's like 50. I didn't remove that, but we just say he's got a clan Elder following, following him around. Uh, it's a middleman thing. And wife, W. Yeah. And he's got a night fighter, which will make good use of. Uh, now, Tremac has another sister who's unmarried, so we may marry her off at some point. And we've got Moot Speaker Tremac. That's his biography. Tremac is the current speaker of the clan Moot, a very aspirational man. He seeks to reunite to all of Anne's wife, West and East, under his manor and restore the might of Anne again, ensuring peace and prosperity. So, Tremac is probably the guy we're going to be, like, sort of, I guess, role playing as, as a bit more. Tremac is basically the guy going, he wants to conquer Anne's wife. Not conquer it, but reunify it, really. Can I not scroll down there? Hang on. 2 does this thing when you can't scroll. There we go. <laughs> He's a night fighter, so I think I'm probably putting Tremac on the front lines. If he dies, then his son will take over. Um, so it comes with steel sword, and he comes with male armor. So he's pretty decent. Uh, we have a nice little army. We've got some Makani and Backsoy, which is a very decent unit. We've got some uh, Tauta, which is sort of our general infantry. We've got some fishermen, our javelin troops. And Stromat comes with a special unit, which I gave him. We can't hire some bandits, but we won't for now. Because we don't exactly want to blow our economy. Because we are going to have to like move our troops out and start attacking Ooh, stuff. My lord. Um, also, we will do straight off the bat. Dip them out at the spike because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Yes, my lord. Um, I will try and avoid do using toggle foil now in a bunch of campaigns. I've done that before, but I'm gonna try and avoid doing it unless we have like a patent here. Then maybe I guess it makes sense, but even then, it's kind of like, yeah. Uh, this is the faction info. I'll tell you about there. No other nation fills such deadly javelin throws, and even the walking immortals known as the Regan Smiths will fall like flowers with all the hail of air by javelins. So, javelins are our main thing. But they are really good. Um, like Brilliant Muscle, she rely on the economic buildings. Yeah, it's pretty much sure how units have the most powerful units, and it's common to clan meet mustering ground, barracks, confederation of Alpha Mall, that's the whole thing. Father can be occupied in the tick with coil constructed. Yeah, build limitations. Yeah, the reading script. Oh, this is interesting, actually. I'll read this out. As one of the nations of the three peoples, Anwab can either destroy the One Ring by capturing the settlement with the One Ring has been found in, and send the general of it to the enlarged to undertake the process by seeking the White Council. Or they can choose to keep the ring for themselves and forsake the three peoples. However, if they, if they turn evil, they may also choose to return the ring to Sauron by sending the general of it to Moran. So, yeah, we have a nice little option with the rings. But, yeah, I've given Makaini, uh, oh. <laughs> Tramak, a special bodyguard. Uh, he also does come with some pretty decent. Brand new uh, upgrades as well. It comes with the Tear Recoil, co um, Tear Recoil Cosentori, I think. Cosentori, I think. But yeah, I wanted to add these units. These units are really good. They have a 19 missile attack, a melee attack, 12 missile attack, 21 defense. These guys are beasts. Their upkeep is huge, but they're really good. They also have a bonus against Oliphant, so we come against uh, the Muma kill. We will crush them, um, hopefully, quite well. They come with that many missiles, only two. Uh, decent accuracy, 65 meters of range, decent movement speeds, uh, but yeah. Now obviously these units, to recruit these units we have to actually require, we have to actually get uh, Unify Anne's Wife as well. And they're going to be recruited by Af from Athelmore being Farbad, or Outford, our capital. But I thought we'd have the units start off, I thought it would be a nice little addition. We have the units starting off so we can sort of see how they play out in battle. And uh, it'd be really cool once we get some more of those guys. Uh, in the fort, we've got some Dubshi foresters and some elders. Some more pretty good for, um, army troops there. Uh, now, Don Kai comes from Anne's wife marksmen, which I'm pretty sure we can't. Can we recruit those? I'm not sure, actually. But these guys are really good. Um, not as good as the Dubshi foresters, but still pretty decent archers. They're high melee attack, high defense, and five missile attacks. They're pretty good. So I've added a few custom like changes to stuff like that. Yes, my lord. Now, unless I want to get the faction leader killed, <laughs> the, the entire faction killed, I'm going to separate um, Don Kaif uh, from the army. We are going to take most of our troops out and probably, I'm trying to think one of the best movers. Hmm. It's difficult because when you're very early on in the campaign, you have to, your very first decision is 
the make or break the campaign. It will either end in triumph or utter destruction. So, yes, my lord. So what I'm going to do is just take an army. I don't know how many now I'm going to. I'm going to take most of the guys. I'm going to leave Don Kite in yes, over here because if he gets killed with the faction leading the army, that's it. <laughs> that's the game. We're done, basically. Um, Your order. Right, move those guys out. We we'll start heading towards Angren Bay, I think. Yes, my lord. Assembling a mighty. Uh, we can probably leave. Um, do really one unit of chaplain. I imagine we can take those guys out. Yeah, they are free upkeep, and any other units we can get, we can chuck in the fort as well. But what I will build, and I tend to do this in every single um, campaign I do with the Fire and Conquer, is I build a mason tool. Because it makes sense, right? You, your buildings are, the cost of buildings are reduced all around. Your times are reduced, so it just gets stuff built quicker. And obviously it's cheaper, so I, in any person playing this game, I'd recommend doing it. First of all, is upping the, because the tax isn't uh, 300 gold. It's out. We are losing money, so maybe like, it's better to put the tax up. Um, it'll take a long time for Alpha to reach that anyway, so I'll go for very high for now. If need be, I might start lowering the taxes to get the population growth up. Which, to be fair, nah, I, I'm, I'm pondering, do I do that or not? Because if we have low tax rate, the population growth will go higher, which will mean more people and more people to tax. So, I'm going to go with that. I'm just hot seat and tricks to make sure we don't use more movement points. Let's stick a watchtower. 15 gold watchtower. Beautiful. We move down to Angren Bay. We'll hold that watchtower for the time being. And then we move into the Angren Bay region. And see what we can find there. Um, I'm not sure. Do we have garrison buildings? Because I... To see remember from AGO, no, you have to like build free upkeep stuff. But in this, uh, we, when we build that, we get militia, we get free units. Uh, so unless it's been changed, but if it has... We're the turn, which will probably take a little while. I'll take a drink while I'm doing this. I'm not editing out turn times, no. <laughs> yeah, don't expect a lot of editing. Um, probably the only thing I'm gonna do is probably edit out, like maybe edit these together, maybe shorten them a bit more. And go from there, really. We've been recording for like 30 minutes. I'm not gonna end the video now because it just seems a bit premature. The first like 20 minutes of me explaining where the hell I've been and talking about stuff. So it's probably fair, and it's, I always sort of do it for the first episode where I do an hour or so. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't. I do sometimes finish work sometimes early. Like if I finish work early, I might actually do some recording. Um, other times, I might just potentially. Uh, sometimes I tend to wait and tell my girlfriend to come home from work uh, from the bus or other way of transport. Sometimes. Um, this is gonna take a while, I think, because of the. Yeah, because everything's all the scripts are firing, it just takes a while for the first turn. The second, the next couple of turns should be a bit faster, which would be good. Um, I will turn the fan on. I don't know if it's in the car from recording, but if it does, it does. I'm not overly bothered. <laughs> because it's hot. I should really open the window, but I know the window's going to make a load of noise because there's cars going. Because I'm literally, we're not really next to a main road, I'm. A couple houses, like a couple houses down, is the main road, basically. Um, but yeah, some evenings I might come home and maybe some random some videos. But um, some in, most evenings I tend to wait for my girlfriend in town. Um, the last few evenings I did because I finished late and she finished about the same time. So yeah. Also, I'm not one hundred percent sure if she's actually going out tonight. She <laughs> she did say about sorry about coming home, um, but I don't know. We'll see. If not, more recording. <laughs> but yeah, I do try to keep myself busy because I find myself missing her a lot if I do nothing. Well, anger. Yeah. Cell swords. It's, I'm glad I took a large army because we took a small army through the die. Do you have anything to boost on movement points? No. Sometimes, uh, when you attack a settlement, you can't attack it. Like, you stand next to it and that's it. But if you have sort of better movement points, which I don't think we do. If you have the cavalry, I besiege it with the cavalry first. But we can just reach that. That's fine. 
Always build a few more battering rams. Uh, it's good to have a few more. You can do a few more attacks in different parts of the walls. Uh, spy to remax the clan's crown. Let's have a look. That looks exactly like um, the one that from... Um, yeah, the distinct crown from Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, what did um, Don Kaif get? Clan Mark or Forester. Uh, cool. Uh, that's something we can give to the next heir. Uh, I got our agent to send them off in a second and turn report. So it going off straight at the back. Uh, Gondor is leading by military and Gondor's also leading by population. Makes sense. Uh, Gondor's sort of like an overall at the moment. Mordor's not far off when it comes to production though. Dwarves of Kazadoom is financial. That's not bad. I'll try. I won't probably build troops. I'm like, starting to wonder. Do we sort of just build out a load of troops? Go for it. I've got another tip man. I'll build him. Yeah, I probably will, because I maybe I should have just built troops straight away. Ah, whatever. Uh, what's those done? Right, we'll send the spy off to south. I shall continue. There's a rebel army there. Uh, Kara seems to be the next shot, some walks are there. The archers that should pretty much kill them straight away. Yes, my lord. Uh, that's where I go to send a diplomat over to. Is it... Do I want to go to Rohan first? Probably, yeah. I know straight away Donlan's going to attack us, so there's no... I might maybe get... I'm, I'll focus on my line. I need the alliances first, that's what I need. Um, go from there. If I take Don Kaif out... Probably on low. Yes, I'll get him in the fort and then he can actually get free upkeep. Because he's just not giving me any free upkeep. Try and get some money up. And now I did say population, but... Uh, next turn we'll take that we can't be we can't spend time not taking places we can't siege him what i mean we can't siege him out we need to really just take him straight away and get in there um the more troops we lose in a horrible way <laughs> despite the way it's it sounds horrible but the more troops we lose the less money less we have to pay for them you maybe think that um perhaps it is wise to maybe stay in the fort and maybe we should have stayed in the forts and the settlements for a bit for now but um, there's just no point. We're just, just going to be sitting there gathering dust. And we may as well start pushing out, taking settlements. While we can, otherwise... Uh, otherwise, they're just gonna be, just not gonna, we're going to be so small that Gondor, like any other faction, is going to roll over us. Um, let alone, we haven't even got to the point where we have that doomstack yet. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now and again, I probably will check my phone now and again. I sort of do that a bit more just to make sure... She's okay. So. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to keep myself busy. Uh, some, okay, fine. I'll go down on them. It's like you're right there, so. Yes, my lord. Without question. But yeah, I keep myself busy because I do tend to miss her quite a fair bit. And I think that's why I've drawn through Nietzsche a bit more, more because like I found myself like being like, oh, I'm really bored. <laughs> I find myself missing her. I'm like, I should probably do something. And I'm like, well, just do YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And that's sort of just like been on my mind. And I've sort of been missing YouTube as well. As busy as I am, I haven't really had time for it. But like, I have like, <laughs> I have like pondered to myself, oh, can I miss it, YouTube? I'm going to send this guy, uh, it makes probably strategic sense to go north towards Bree. If we can get some of the, their um, trade from all the um, the weed, the Hobbit weed, then <laughs> that would be good. I don't know if that word's maybe, that word might be demonetized yet, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, ready for our first battle? Probably not. Probably go badly. So what's Karis got in it? There's a bunch of orcs and stuff like that. Nothing overly over the top. The bodyguard might give us a run for its money. Or us a run for the money, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. We got two Baron Rams there, didn't we? We got Wooden Hunters, pretty crap crit troops. The balance we can kill, and the Cell Swords might give us a bit of tripe. But the the guys, the units we've got, we take a take a crawl across and Tory. Should hopefully deal with them. Alright. We may do a save as well, just in case of uh, game crashes. I was screwing around a while back. I was playing Dawnian. I did a bunch of stuff like off camera. And I'll tell you a bit more why I was. Uh, well, I'll tell you a bit more what I was doing off camera. But yeah, did they. So you may remember the Targaryen dynasty ended 
Um, I can't, I can't continue to talk around this. I did pond, I did like did a bit off camera where I played a bit, and actually some interesting stuff happened. But, um, but yeah, it was fun. But the Tiger and the ended on the episode, ended on I couldn't really carry it. I could have carried it on a bit more, maybe skipped ahead a bit. But like I was happy with the ending, and I felt as if I just moved it. If because I did play on like another hundred years, and stuff happened, some interesting stuff kicked off. But I figured let's try and actually let's actually capture that stuff um, with our. Uh, Valerion series. Uh, right, so I've got units. I haven't played the battle in ages, so but please forgive me. I haven't played in a while, so I probably will be rusty. Uh, these guys throw the axes first. They look beautiful. They are like your heavily armored, like Anglo-Saxon-looking troops, really. So I'm getting Anglo-Saxon vibes. Got well, Dubchief Foresters, very good units, and uh, Dubchief Elders, which are more tough heavy infantry than anything else. I'm not going to have them carry the Baron around. The Bandits, I'll have a look at them. The Bandits had a different models, didn't I think? Or was that in AGO? I think it's AGO. I don't know. Or well, it may not be, I don't know. That's the Bandits are like the Morkani and Backstory, which is uh, Trimac's original bodyguard. Rather than remove the bodyguard, they sort of just left them as their own little uh, a unit. Morkani and Tauta. Who did the voice of this again? Clansmen. I wasn't. I mean, Galu. I think did did Galu do some voices? So they might recognise his voice at some point. Yeah, I was. I was a big fan of Galu, and obviously when he stopped doing YouTube, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like it's like um, I used to watch his videos a lot because it's just. I mean, it's just like hearing him like his voice as well was very like mellow. mellow what's the word? Melodic. I, like, I remember like listening to his videos and stuff like when I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I mean, it made me fall asleep on some occasions. <laughs> right, who do you want to carry the? Uh, probably bandits. Yeah. Uh, do we want to try and hit them from the flank or just pile in from the gate? Because we could go from that side. It probably makes sense to go from separate angles. Is there a gate around that side? Uh, no. Oh, there is at the back. But there's no point. That's way out of our reach. Okay, so what we do is we send the bandits. I'll be here. I haven't done a battle strategy in a while. I miss actually. I mean, it's also what I miss from YouTube is not using my brain as much. In fact, I know what the arches are like. Some guy moaned at me for having my arches too close. I think it was. <laughs> there was a comment on one of my like DAC videos from the Castle Doom one. Your arches are way too close, and so I'm just kind of moaning. I was like, oh, can't be us. <laughs> you wonder why. But I'll give my customer services, I, like, give my customers, I'm not really all that surprised when people complain about really stupid stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it just makes me think, like, God, have you got anything better to complain about? The elders can go there. Very small unit size, aren't they? Um, backstory can go there. I'm going to have... I don't know how much range we're going to be in, but... The air is being smart and they put troops there as well. Smart buggers. <laughs> now, has the AI been updated? <laughs> like, um, by updated, I mean, is the AI a bit more competent? They seem to be because they're bringing the wooden hunters into range. Some of my troops are going to be enlarged. Yeah, they are going to shoot me with the wooden hunters, which are where? Oh, they just got the wooden hunters here. Yeah, this. I think they've got one unit here, yeah. So we're going to take a few casualties. Um, I don't know where the other wooden hunters are. They're in hiding, maybe? I'm not sure. The Tauta should hold in there. Once we've breached the gates, we can start moving troops in. With a siege, you are going to lose, man. It's just. <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. You are just going to have to face the fact that you are going to lose troops. Move them up. I'll move you guys up as well. I won't move troops from this side because they are just. Oh, they've opened the gates. In we go, boys. Yes, we're moving in. Uh, backstory. I mean, move you up for now. For 
Love the Celtic music, it's brilliant. The battery ram is in place. I also you know, got that. Uh, got the more like fish in the room up as well. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Still see each other. Alright, we fire those guys. See him load a volley, I will up the music a bit because it's a little quiet. There you go. I missed Total War. <laughs> Doing battles and stuff like that has been fun. Uh, yeah, and Sega 2 as well. Been... I missed doing Sega 2. Similar to which one I've missed more, actually. <laughs> I've both missed both of, them, both of them equally. In terms of what we're doing for the channel these days, uh, I don't really know. I think I'm just going to go with whatever I fancy doing, really. Obviously, I'll probably keep it towards a Total War sort of, you know, look, I guess, because that's what you guys like. And um, if I don't start doing what my viewers like, I won't get any con uh, views, to be honest, so. Right. You guys can focus fire on them. The battle is very much in our favor. Move. Actually, if I move you guys there, you should be able to get in the range. Moving across and Florian, they are very powerful, so. Yeah, they start up 129 troops. Mainly because at the moment, um, right, if I can get you in there and stop the wooden hunters firing, that'd be useful. Right, get in there, boys. You know, what I might do is try and get my my Moldag fishmen to fire at the uh, guys over there. They might get caught in, caught in battle in combat with those guys, but if they do, they do. It's not. Cells was coming this way. Uh oh. They all sit just disrespecting. Target these guys. Is that going to be a problem? I think I have no real choice but to push through. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably get caught and I can't do a lot about it. If I can position these guys here, and I can push the um, back store way through and get them to fire at them, in theory. It's going to be a bloody fight at the gate set. Right, so the bands for now. But yeah, they will start off 129 troops well, because of the um, unit size. But when that unit size drops below 77, they won't replenish anymore. So, use them wisely, essentially. I don't really think we can use the... I won't push him through, because they will die. It's not quite friendly fire. I think we're okay. Okay, yeah, that's just... Right, cool. Right, give me a bit of that. And you guys. Is it gonna lag on time six? Yeah, it's not ball with time six. <laughs> Never worked. Alright, if you can pull back, because I don't really want you guys fighting. I mean, obviously that's your job, but. <laughs> the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Uh, save your arrows for now. But come on, throw your axes, boys. Throw your axes. Oh, frame drop there, Jesus. <laughs> I probably need to upgrade my PC at some point. <laughs> but uh, I don't want four caliber money running at the moment. <clears throat> I probably will at some point, but um. Where the hell do you think you're going? Right. It's nice, the game is just sort of lagging a lot more than it used to be these days. Buy your javelins. Killed once in there, nice. 
Get another volley in there. Okay, stop now because she'll kill you guys. Oh, they're running. Chase them. Why are they running that way? Our men have taken control of the city. Um, I'd fire my. They've run into Bell, have they? Why? Okay. I mean, fine. <laughs> the cells are going to take a while to die, unfortunately. Same time, more people are dying, um, the more troops we can fill in the battlefield, ideally. But yeah, we just have to be prepared to lose troops, really. As unfortunate as it is. <laughs> Die of that Japan volley. <laughs> Back. Oh, they're running. Good. Right. Right, move in. The enemy general abandons his men. Excellent. Iron fist and power more. We've captured the enemy's general. That excellent their cowardly dog to turn tail and I thought that'd be victory, right? Or the cells are gonna fight to death. Oh, no, they're all dead. It's very much to find out in the square. Yeah, I think the fishmen can deal with them quite easily. There's a few guys, but then the cells was actually died quicker than I thought they would. Captain Booth. And let's go. Awed by the victory we have won here today. Okay, victory is ours. Not too bad, I don't think. Roger <laughs> Man lost. It's not too bad. Considering I haven't played Manly Two in like months. Not on that, I think. Take Rock Cross and Tory. Uh, the back no, 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 the Tau took the most kills, that's interesting. Probably because they were uh, straight into the gate, I guess. Frozen Tori did pretty good, and the Manitz also quite out kills, and that's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, Matt, it's victory. Victory is us. Oh. I've been sent a lunchbox. Oh, I know what that's for. Girl from one last Meerkat, so she wants a Meerkat, um... Lunchbox. That's should pretty good. two of them. <laughs> yeah, I might order a um, make it lunchbox. And also, I've recorded and I'm actually sweating. <laughs> I'm actually sweating. I mean, I have to span on, it's still not really working, but it's probably because I'm talking, headphones on, like, uh, I haven't done reviews for a while. So, generally feels odd. Um, but yeah, the Aegon Targaryen series is, like, is that's concluded as it can be, and I can't do anything about it, I can't get the save back, so that's done. Because um, I was going to play the Valerian on Tennessee after the Tar Aegon the Conqueror series, but that never happened. Um, but yeah. Targo and Disney obviously ended as it was, as uh, terrible wear. I could have continued a bit more. Maybe I should have done a bit more, but yeah, it's, it was game over, really. Um, what else? Um, the Hot Seat reviews, I'm probably not going to bother doing them, those videos. They weren't very highly viewed anyway. They were fun to do at the time when the channel was small, but now it just seems a waste of time. And like, the video of the Hot Seats that I'm doing them for was so long ago now that I hardly remember them. And I just don't see the point in really. Putting, putting effort into making those kind of videos when the views are very lackluster. But yeah. I mean, I might do the old announcement of Hot Seat at some point. I mean, I still kind of want to do Hot Seats. I'm not like over top about them anymore. But like, you know, if I do... Yeah, it'd be fun, I guess. If we do a Hot Seat. But I don't really play them that often. And I don't particularly want to. It's not really overly fussed. 
I mean, do we have much? Not really. We're probably not gonna have to go there. Oh no, we're not actually. No, no, we might be okay. I think Karis is probably the next spot to move on. Uh, let's have a little look down here. Because we are bordering Gondor quite soonish. My lord. Yes. I'll speed it done I might move towards Gondor probably first, I'm thinking. Because if I can get an alliance with Gondor, that's should be pretty decent. Um Right, that's victory over. Uh what could be retrained? The bandits? Can the bandits be retrained? I don't think so. Uh, we are building four border guards, so I might bring the border guards down here. I'll leave them for now. Or should we just move out? Uh, I'll move out and I'll leave the... Leave the bands behind for now. We shall continue tomorrow. It's a wall town, so nothing will should surprise it, hopefully. Alright, send us home. Like classic nostalgic third age theme that I love. <laughs> but yeah, I think the Valerian Dynasty will be quite enjoyable. I think that's going to be fun. Um, I definitely probably will play a few more, um, a few more uh, uh, campaigns for um, that at some point. I might even play some other Total War stuff. We'll see, really. Been itching to play some like England stuff lately, uh, probably because of, like all the English stuff going on lately. I mean, for those who don't know, I mean, the Queen died. Uh, <laughs> the Prince Philip died but a year before that. And then, the, then this year, uh, obviously, we had the crown of the King, which is very interesting. I need to watch. I'm, I need to, like, actually sit down and watch the whole coronation. I haven't yet, and I've got him record. I'm going to... I mean, at some point, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to watch the coronation. Because um, I can't want to. I'm just, just interested to see what's going on. See, you know, have a look. Because I am, obviously, a nerd and all that. For history and um, it's history in the making, so you really need to watch it. Really, uh, okay. Andrew's under attack. That's not good. Aha! The bear, the bear psych, bear psych sail out. The port of Long Angren is ours once again. Lost to bands of a scum. The bear psych scout smaller, far flung enclaves. But now at last they can return to their traditional home. Although they may have once betrayed their clans with the secret of the Numenorean shipcraft and aided in the spoiling of the Great Forest, they have since spent their every waking moment atoning for this act. But with the reclamation of their clan suit, they can once again construct their famed dragon boats in service of the clan mood, and will add to our coffers with their skill and trade. Furthermore, the chieftain, their chieftain's son, Ruskin, has also created to captain his family's personal warship himself, and will serve under us, transporting our troops and engaging the fleets of our foes. With this, we have come one step closer to reclaiming what we have lost. There you go, we've got a nice little ship. Admiral Ruskin. I don't know if it comes out of any... Yeah, it does actually. It's not a bad general. Uh, did, did we get a port bill? No, it's sufficient for this for now. But, um... I'll leave it by the... I'll leave them there for now, because I currently have a port for them. And the border guards. Right, the border guards straight away can move south. And they can garrison Long Angra, and I'll move the planets over as well. Um, I, I can probably leave Long Angra return, right? As you wish. Yeah. Your orders, my lord. I'm sure Lord Anger will be fine. Famous last words yes. to get taken over by bandits. Ooh. Is that worth it? <laughs> get some units straight away, so it's like not too bad. Um, my lord. Right, you guys can just sit in that fort over there. That way, our forts are both garrisoned. Your uh, you can keep moving north. As you wish. Oh, Donald. What is it you wish to discuss? Well, they are set the lines. I. Don't really want to ally with them because they're at war with people that I kind of want to get allies with, alliances with. I must say, they for a bit of gold. Yeah. Okay, sure, I'll do that. And what I can do after that, <laughs> this is really sneaky. Another. <laughs> <piece we laughs> regular trip. It's hilarious because you can do these things and then you're like you set the tribute. Okay, yeah, I'll pay the tribute, and you can just do this. Why would you do this to us? <laughs> we hope for more. Thank you. In future. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that is such an exploit, really. I shouldn't I do that. Continue tomorrow. <laughs> Stopping. Bunny Tauto. Woo! Sit you in the fort over there. As you wish. I think it's only two per fort, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. My lord. Your lord. I lord. 
I love like the Viking music, but oh god. It's slightly going for I might have to siege now, actually. Uh, we do have a decent force, we can probably take it. They don't have a port up in the blockade, do they? No. Uh, Moose Speaker Trevac is a Mercer. Oh, that's cool. Plus 5 looting gain, plus 1 command. Cool. Back to announcements. Uh, it's yes. Extra right now. Cool. Okay, we can actually see what Dunn has, which is quite good. I don't hold Herox here. Don't hold that. Bail. Bio, I think. It's one flavor, far bad. They, they do hold. They don't hold, hold anything else south, which is good. My lord. Uh, you can probably go speak to Isengard, I suppose. Oh, there they are. Is there something I can do for you? No. Yeah, sure, I'll pay you a tribute. Such a thing. Good. Funny. <laughs> I found the funny. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, definitely a thing that, um, the, <laughs> the end of why people will do. Yeah, we're accept a tribute and then cancel it literally, like, moments afterwards. <laughs> But like, what I can understand from a law perspective is that we've promised a tribute to the Dundons and Isengard to Isen Isengardians? The Isengardians, okay. We'll go with that, I guess. We've promised a tribute to them, um, but basically anyone isn't going to pay it, essentially. As you wish. So Isengard's taken... I oh crap, isn't that Bregnas? Oh god. Isn't that one of our regions we need? I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it? Hang on. Uh... uh... Alright, so break nice, break nice, break nice, break nice, break nice. Um Don't think so. I mean we'll find out I guess. But I mean I think and it's inevitable we are gonna have to fly as a gun at some point or other. Your orders, right, Lord. Alright, the journey continues yes. to Balorn. We shall engage. Copyright strikes. <laughs> yeah, it feels nice to play DU should be up. It's been too long, really. With any every break I take from YouTube it gets harder and harder to come back to it again. <laughs> like it, it really does. And um yeah. I mean I can't promise I'm gonna be doing YouTube forever. Uh there will come a day where I'd, I'm like I'd, I may one day end up doing the gallery and be like, right I'm done. <laughs> it may happen, who knows, really. But um you know, I'll I'll keep going with it. it see how it goes really. Um We'll see how it gets on when me and my girlfriend have our own plays. Um, but right now we're just living with my mum and dad. Which is alright, we are paying, paying rent of course and doing what we can to support my mum and dad. I know they won't live in this area forever so eventually the time is going to come where we'd have to move. Um, although the question is where. Because I was going to move um, with my mum and dad but obviously with my girlfriend on the scene that's obviously changed things. I'm not, I'm not overly keen on the idea of moving now because my girlfriend doesn't want to move herself. Please don't be a... <laughs> please don't be a <laughs> bloody storm or something. And we just get sunk. This happened so many times where I've left an army nearby. Like, just... Usually it's, like, further away from the sea tile. So, like, like, over there. And a storm hits and my entire army and fleet gets sunk. And they all die. <laughs> I've had that happen so many times where I'm just like, Oh, for God's sake. Just in tears, as you can imagine. That's it. Uh, what's the tax rate for this place? Drip it off. I might just go for low because we are going to be in debt, so it's not going to change anything. Get a small population in the construction, that's done. And the tavern port, nothing really changed there. And Balorn is in reach. What's in here? So we got more like skirmishes. Oh god, they're pretty tough. And Heralds. Brilliant really Hunters and Makani Tauta. It's those Javan guys that are going to annoy the crap out of me. Have right, you done your work, Spy? Uh, we could probably stretch our wings and go away south. We might be just putting us, uh, spreading ourselves a bit thin, but... Yes, my lord. Yes. For Christ's sake. Why is Isengard? Why is any, like, faction in this game? Position armies on the bridge just to spite me. <laughs> Right, let's just go that way. I can't even go. I can't even. Fine, can we go that way at least? <laughs> no, I can speak to Rohan. I didn't want to speak to Gondor. It's kind of paramount that we do because obviously Gondor's going to get the wrong end of the stick and go after me. How far bad already? Oh, wait, didn't they take that in the old expansion? 
Yeah, I think they do. That's gonna be fun. Yay! Yes, my lord. Up you go. Please yes. don't get in the way, far Fragnaz. Is that what you want? I, mean, I can speak to the goblins, I guess, but. Um, right. Let's end the turn. I'll lazy to my lord and I'll probably wrap the episode up for now. Yeah, I probably will do like some pauses, like when my girlfriend sent me a message, I'll probably just pause the recording and come back. Because <laughs> I do tend to do that a bit. So I won't, you know, I don't really like to leave my girlfriend not replying for a while, because otherwise she thinks something's happened to me. But in reality, I'm probably just recording. I remember times when I, before we got together, I'd be recording and I didn't care that much if I got a message, but as time went on, I actually did care. I actually would stop recording, so I'm like, hang on, I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> I guess you get like that. Um, something, real life stuff is a bit more important than gaming. And, yeah, I'm not bothered about, like, if I need to pause the recording to speak to my girlfriend or someone else. Like, I'm not really bothered about announce or, like, uh, interrupting these days. Like, I mean, I don't really care. Um, at some point, you're going to end up hearing uh, my uh, girlfriend's dog at some point. Um, whenever... Um, we get a dog again. Um, My lord. Please let me go for a yes. Without question, you have a proposition for us. Um, yeah, we have got Bella, of course. Bella might interrupt. <laughs> interrupt us? Why not? This proposal is there is something else yeah. you wish to propose then? Should I let you die? <laughs> fucking no. Okay, cool. This meeting was. That was a waste of fucking time. Goodbye. I hate you. I uh, know something I'm even gonna do, and if you haven't watched my videos before, I will just cheat my kid. I'm not gonna move them around. By the whole fucking oh, he can't talk to someone for a whole turn. It's just ridiculous. But it's Empire Total War, the game that came out literally after this one, you could talk to many people as you like. So, and if I can spell the name right, I'll do that. But I'm not overly bothered. I can't. There we go. Okay. There we go. What is it I can't just want trade. Just give me a trade, and we're good. Let's not take no, you're gonna be a dick about it. Can I just give you the trade? You have a proposition for us. No. Okay, we're gonna go war with right hand. It seems because I've been dicks. Fine. Yes. <laughs> Fuck her off, then. I don't need you. <laughs> make the alliance with Gondor. <laughs> send the emissary with right hand. I would love to send the emissary, but they're a bunch of pigs. Yes, right. my lord. As you uh, should we go through that way? Uh, we can't go very far bad. I'm gonna off my sail class to go through far bad. Let's go speak to Fragnaz. It's an escape. Stopping here. Yeah, don't worry about hand and start. Nah. We don't want anything to do with you. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Your order, the fuck? My lord. Uh, this is a castle. Uh, now, does this have particular big... Yes. What was because of modern daily or a castle in this game? I'm gonna assume not. Uh, yes, fine, let's put some others. No, siege towers. What I might do is actually siege below that for a while to be a fair, because it is quite the garrison. They may even attack me um, quite soon. Oh, look. Some druid and hunters there. Oh. Ah, fair across. So it's all that region. That, no, I keep thinking it's a region down here because it's a port, but I don't. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure that is that is the whole region. Flower Grand Boss we can go for next, I guess I would not look for the garrison. I wasn't in recording, but I'm actually enjoying this so much, so I'm gonna carry on through it. I forget our first day I get recorded. Yeah, something I will do is probably work a bit more on my Usakings 2 uh, series because I need to actually set up the things with console commands. And all that jazz, which I think is going to be pretty fun. I think, I'm, I think I was, to be fair, when I was doing this, I was more excited for the attack, ser the uh, Secret 2 series than I was for this. Probably because of like, so much like, thought and lore going into my head and like pouring that into the game. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> I've been non-stop thinking about it for weeks now. Like Now and again, like when I'm, when I'm not like doing anything at work, or um, if there's a particular day where like, nothing's happening, or I'm just bored, I literally just think about the ideas, and sometimes I'll take a few notes. Uh, write up a few notes and be like, oh, okay, let's write this down. Well, that's a good idea of this person doing that thing in this scenario. So, yeah. Hopefully the explanation of the Valera and the series won't take three hours like it did last time. <laughs> well, two hours, I think. Was it two hours or three hours? Sure that, yeah, the first episode of that took three hours. Um, it's ridiculous. 
but yeah, that uh, that like a lot of thought price about that that will pull us coming on to. Okay, that I am gonna see, Joe. I uh, part of me says like no, don't bother, but I'm gonna have to because I can't. If I fight that, I'm gonna lose most of my troops. Please let me go through. Right. Without question. Oh, oh well, that's over here. I'm taking goon gray. My lord. Right, I should be able to uh, go around the corner and go to um, Gondor. I mean, Gondor's probably not going to do that well at the moment, but. Without question. Speak to Mora. You have something to discuss with us? Uh, means with. I don't really want. I do not think you. Okay, you approach good. with something more reasonable now. To map information to make him happy. And I'll try and go in trade. I hope this will be more. Not a bad offer. I <laughs> Other deep voices for the old to say, man. Yes. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> I love it. Um, right. We are in debt, so we can't need to, like, actually, you know what? I'm going to take that some. The video might get a bit longer, but do you know what? Let's just, what, hang on, hang on a minute. Hold on a sec. Stop. Do we have, what, what siege equipment we have? I could be a plum round. Uh, maybe my better to maybe end the turn and then do it, because that's going to, like, it will result in multiple deaths and lots and lots of deaths. I'll do that in my, um, my staying still, um, instant idea ages ago. Uh, if anyone's wondering, I probably won't do that many install guides. Uh, I just can't really bother to show people what to do. <laughs> I do enough of that on my own job. Uh, <laughs> no, not that much. But um, but no, uh, I just can't be asked to do like install guides and camping and everything, stuff like that, professional stuff. I'm just like, I kind of just want to play a game. I want to play a game, have fun. That's my motto with YouTube, not make campaign reviews and be over the top professional. I have to be professional at work, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the Target industry got like a 6,000, it's current 6,000 views, that's nine months ago we did that. It was before we did, was it before? I was think, no, it was after um, House of Dragon, wasn't it? Remember I did like a couple of test series to see like which one would be better. Oh, hello, bandits and independent rebels and independent systems. <laughs> be gone. I can't want to say confederacy of independent systems, but it's that, yeah, it's Star Wars. I mean, there's a, of, there's a lot of cool movies coming out lately. Like, yes, um, Slash was good. As you wish. Uh, out of the way. Yes. Slash was good. Uh, what else was there? Flash. I shall uh, continue tomorrow. Stop India Jones is coming out soon, which a lot of people slating on the internet, but I'm like, it's actually, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I'm like, why are so pissy about it? Anime, it's not going to be as good as the first three. Well, obviously not. No, because that was, eight, that was 40 years ago. <laughs> of course, it's not going to be as good as. It's Harrison's fallen, shouldn't bother. Yes, he's 79. What do you expect? Oh, he's 80 now. What do you expect? I mean, if he wants to do the film, let the man do the film. Kind of thing. And also Hollywood, uh, he probably was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. And Hollywood was like, oh, well, how about for this amount? And Harrison Ford was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> right. Yeah, just not how the negotiations go, I'm sure, but... <laughs> As you wish. Where's Kazadum? Can we get to Kazadum? I doubt the dwarves have taken the west side yet. I've eaten no they haven't. Yes. We can probably just move straight up to Rivendell then, can't we? I shall continue tomorrow. And you're still going over there. Gondor hasn't moved any armies towards Far Farrah Grondust. My lord. Well I can see a massive Gondor army coming this way somewhere. No, Anulon has deserted. Which means I have no military force to go and take Farrow Grondust, which is perfect. Because I can take the Western Shore very easily. Right. Your orders, my lord. And the moment you've been waiting for, the maybe the utter destruction of this campaign, or the victory of this campaign. Yes, my lord. Two sea towers, that 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 should do it. That's good and poorly. You know what? I'm so nervous I'm gonna make a separate battle save too. Yeah, I did the Dawning little campaign as well, night attack. We do get better command, though, it's day 10. Hmm. I mean, it probably had a good night battle, I guess, so that's. Some really changes. It's still one to one ratio, so it could go either way. Let's do this. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, we did a lot of Lego builds as well. I brought a lot of Lego like towards the end of last year. 
Um, I'm still like sort of working on to build. It's what I've got to do. Like, much I miss my girlfriend when she goes out and stuff. I've got to also like remind myself of. Um, I, I got to still do the same sort of things when I was single, like play games, stuff like that, and all that. I'm not like worry about it that much, like because I do sort of think about it. Like, oh. <laughs> but I still need to get out of that habit. I still need to like just stop thinking about like um, her while I'm out, while I'm doing my own thing. Um, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Um, I sort of just feel like I need to, like, uh, what's the word? Can I even use the siege tower? Have I built siege towers for nothing? Yes, I have, because this can't use siege tower. Can't use ladders either. So it's all nothing on the, on the, on the ram, and okay, brilliant. But yeah, I find myself, like, especially in the early days of our relationship, I constantly, like, thinking about her all the time, like, worrying, like, like missing her and stuff like that. But I've got to sort of, like, just try and not think about it. I'm, I've gotten better now. Because, I mean, the first few, like, days we got together, I sort of, like, missed her, like, a lot. And it just, like, kept, like, just kept in the back of my mind the whole time. And, uh, you can't, for a relationship to survive, you can't think like that the whole time. you got to, like, try and do your own thing. Because it's just not going to work out. This is be tough. It's not as bad. I mean, it's open. It's more open, so it's more like a, like, fighting in the field, really. But, yeah. I'm sure the hunters come in. I mean, my guys should be at a decent, safe distance to not get shot at, like, deep. When I say my guys, the bigger army. Not the smaller force that I'm sending to take down the, the gate. Yeah. There you go. That's gonna kill a lot of bandits. Probably. Come on, bandits, hold in there! Hold on! I thought a realistic battle, the bandits would not just be dying like this. The bandits would have just took it to the fields and legged it, probably, by now. But uh, I admire their courage. The bandits obviously want to redeem their themselves from their thievery and crime, crimeful ways. I love how I've gone to like a massive spiel about my relationship. I probably shouldn't run on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. My girlfriend probably won't watch this video. <laughs> she might. If she's watching. Hi. Love you lots. Uh, <laughs> if she is. <laughs> but um, I think uh, ADHD will see an hour long video and be like, nah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we've got in there. But yeah. But I'm very happy. Still, like, I'm still sort of in that phase. Like, has it actually happened? Have I actually got a girlfriend? Is it is, is it real? Was, was, is it true? <laughs> it does feel strange still. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, with YouTube, I stopped doing because I sort of lost ideas in my opinion. There's so much going on in life that I just didn't think about. I couldn't think about YouTube. I was too focused on... You know what's going on in life, of course. What's that one guy standing back? He's like, I'm not standing there with all those fucking arrows. <laughs> uh, sometimes the AI, like, in the game just makes me laugh. This gate's been made stronger. I think AJ the gates take absolute ages to go now. I think version 5 is not too long. Unless I can't do time 6 anymore, right? It just doesn't. It just always lags. And that might just be Dak, to be fair, because Dak is like a pretty beefy mod. It is a beefy mod at this point. So I'm not really surprised that Dak might struggle my system. Just drop the ram, please. Drop the ram! Yeah, it's a stupid thing to run. Um, actually, it's probably best to go in then. Hit him now. And we bring our troops in behind. Hold shift, it'll move them to position. I learned fairly new. Fairly recent trick I learned fairly new. A recent trick, I guess. Right, if I can get you guys up here to throw your accident. I'm trying to do the same with the McKinney here. There's a nice little gap here. If I can get him to fire this stuff. Perfect. And they're uh, routing already? Seriously? Uh, okay. I guess my theory of them routing it was correct. They probably will. <laughs> Follow them, aren't we? No. Right. Uh, the archers, we need to bring them into a normal line. If I can, I'll try and position on the back here. It's always so far. In. I hope the bandits come back, because there's still quite a chunk of them. Right. 
Alright. And spots them crash into them and they've sort of moved about, so that's to make things even more complicated now. They've moved over there. Great. Um Rick Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Can I go through that? <laughs> Keep going to the arches. So for any axes, boys. Yeah, get a volley from there. Okay, that's very surprising. I think that's gonna be very uh, accurate volley, but okay. Stop three knock guys in. There's no point in just. The battle is very much I'm just gonna put my, my jabbing guys in. Axe troops. Skirmish is coming down. Let's have a target the clan Harold for a moment. Right. You guys should get a volley over the top there in theory. I love the look of these guys. It's so cool. Should be the amount of range now, so we want to move in, we can. Oh, I'm just gonna range. If I put guys back a bit, you might be able to fire it better. Oh, the bats have returned, brilliant. So I don't know where the hell they were going, but okay. Pop up that little hill there. Pop up. Go up. Up you. There you go. Who's good in who's good in Mokaini, uh not Mokaini. Who's good taking pro across and tourist? You are. <laughs> yeah, I mean interrupting will just happen probably and again, this is funny. I mean it's funny. <laughs> like I'm not overly bothered about it, like oh it's something to drop maybe interrupt maybe I'm not gonna like shout at them. I think I'll be used to just have a go at the parents or something like that. It's like fucking hell, do you want to get just smack the shit out? It's like, Jesus, you have to be brave. Um, but yeah. But no, people interrupt, they interrupt. It's just. Whatever. I'm not like. I'm not recording over the top professional. I think I might have first used you. I was like very over the top professional. Which, sure, is okay, but at the same time, you like it, it just gets a bit dull. Like, if you do everything perfectly, it's just doesn't, there's no comedy. It's just <laughs> over the top professionalism, which is. I mean, some people I'm sure like, but I don't really. I don't now, anyway. Not these days. I'm more about doing news for a laugh right now, they're not very much over the top, make sure everything's professional like. I can just don't. It's not about that. If I'm very professional recording, then I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be over. I'm not going to be like pushing myself to be professional. I like, just don't care. That's not, that's not that's not a problem. <laughs> I'm not going to like do that. I don't care. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I'm going to up here and start firing at those guys. It's gonna be shite. Stand there. Been firing. I must have found continuity in campaign, so it does feel like kind of right me playing as the. Clowns of Anne's wife after playing the Men of the Mountains. Like, it soon feels like a bit of a successor thing. But yeah, we've, I've finished my four but with all the different, like, stuff going on in England lately, it kind of makes me want to play some England stuff. Um, England, bad England stuff, I guess, probably would be. Um, 
when they're gonna come after me, I didn't stand my in the stand with okay, cool. Uh, like England from like a Mabel Tutor campaign, don't you know what I mean there's multiple ones we can do. But England <laughs> from normal Mabel Two probably makes sense. Or maybe England enemy force remains. Or maybe maybe England from like uh I don't know. Uh I'll do that. Focus far on them. Let's focus on the hunters. Um Actually you guys can cut up there, I guess. Charging, go back. Bring them in. Bring them back so they can suck up their attack. Still fighting, these guys. These guys are yeah, dead. All right, we can move on north. Uh, move up north. Move up. Move up. If I can pull you guys out, and I can try and get you to pay to that. Right, stop a moment. Uh, right, if you can get up here a bit more. It's pull, not R. <laughs> yeah, Right, push the hill. My forest is get their ass kicked, which is not good. Focus on that massive cluster over there. Hang on, they, they pull back. Alright, hang on. Right. Alright, if you guys can focus on them. Oh, they're charging him. Because I have one more dice to go. <laughs> Shit, just saying. That's how they got together, maybe? So, I've got race at the moment as well, so it's like. Chant. For the forest. I can chant. Hey, 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 Sorry. Oh, hang on. I can hear it. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and they charge the enemy instead of firing their jab Y. Okay. Okay, AI, that's, that's, that's smart of you. You can charge your men in when you know full well you're probably going to die. Okay, in you go. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a special mission for you guys. You guys can go around. Go that way. Curve round or something, I don't know. Right. So one of these guys now to win the day. Right, move up that way. Try to get the flank round if I can. What's the Warchant doing? I'm not actually sure. Alright, getting that. The great swords will do some damage. Oh, I just took out two of them. Oh, bloody hell, I killed loads. Wow. Oh god, the archers are firing. Oh, fuck. Alright, I need to get around them now. Alright. Before my guys all die, you need to just for the car if I get Tremac killed, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Probably cry. Oh. Uh, I mean, if that happened, I'd probably have inherited. I mean, I'm gonna like lose some. Okay, that killed a fat ton. Right, push up there now. Actually, the bug run off. Don't, don't, don't get into their trap. Just go in and kill them. Tremac, for God's sake, don't die, man. Tremac's is leading a, gen a valiant charge into the Morlad skirmishers. I mean, it may die, but. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, get up there for me, guys. You can stop firing them. Uh, the archers. 
I'll leave out of this fight. There's nothing they can really do. Apart from maybe die. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, chase them behind. Already, this has been a very bloody start. Oh, we may have just found our uh, tight episode title. <laughs> a bloody start. Will that get we demortalized because these swear words? Probably. Would YouTube just. Yeah. At least so we're not shooting each other. So I may just off myself. <laughs> what are we doing, game? When I ask you to fire your javelins, that does not mean charge into the enemy. Like a bunch of lemmings. No. That means fire. Jab. Right. Okay. Stop. Just use your fire at will and just do your do what you're meant to do. Just shoot. Just shoot. I don't mean charge. I mean shoot your weapons. Fire your axes. Fire your javelins. Do not use them in close combat, please. Just... Who wants I damn would say? I'm gonna lose if we're not careful. Right. Let's pull Dramak out because I know what's gonna happen. I've seen Galu play so many times. I do not want to be making the mistake of getting my general killed. Although, it's bound to happen at some point, I guess. I'm just kill those Druid Hunters that annoy me. Let's hope Dramak is in dark. God, they're chasing him. They're chasing him. Oh, God. It's over. I don't have the chance to actually do anything, but we'll just say it is. Right, when you're finished, just charge in. Yeah, now you can charge in. Now you can also do our age, you're good to charge in. Yeah, we've lost a lot of those guys in this battle. Yeah, maybe I should have starved this place out, really. Oh, well. Too late. <laughs> Alright. Everybody, finish them off. Friends hope to God that, um... He's not in the thick of that. Nice. Okay, he's at the back there. I mean, he's kind of on the front lines. I mean, it, it, eh, he's okay. I mean, if he dies, his son will... Oh, good. I mean, if Trebek dies, then his son will carry on his work, I suppose. If him just goes, plowing them down. Go on, Trebek. Get in there, son. <laughs> just hacking that guy to death. <laughs> Not a fuck given in the world. Nah. Death. Death! <laughs> just imagine him shouting death and it'll fill the battle. I can't remember the actual portrait of that guy is from. I've definitely seen it somewhere. It looks like a um, Riphonic series, like a that King, maybe King Arthur or something. Well, more of the like um, films set around the Dark Ages, I guess, or maybe the Viking period, I guess. It's definitely not Last Kingdom of Vikings, so I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Victory is victory. Yeah, I can do time six without lacking too hard. I mean, it doesn't lag. It's just when I move it around. Utterly vanquished. Yeah. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day. I mean, it was a heroic victory. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> For the amount of men we lost, probably not. But like that was still pretty heroic. The how it was heroic is one to one odds, wasn't it? But eh, I guess uh, okay. I won't complain. Yeah, the Crocodile Cro Cross and Tory carried hard. If I didn't have that unit in the, in this campaign, I'm pretty sure we'd have died already by now. <laughs> So thank God I added them in. Oh, it's death. Some of you might be a little annoyed at adding them because they're quite OP, but at the same time, are they OP? Look how many people just died. I have 13 of them left. Only one of them healed as well. It's going to take a while for that to replenish completely. I mean, the bandits healed. That's that's good. Yeah, some killed. Not nearly as many as I would have liked. But that's still a heavy blow. But... A victory is a victory, I suppose. I don't know if we'll quite be moving on Farrah Grondos anytime soon, but let's see. I may have to like sort of group up and ride the troops a bit to move them south again, I think. But I kind of want to try and build up my stuff for a bit. 
I mean, Dublin's gonna come for us at some point. It's just I need more men. <laughs> I, I'm already starting. I'm already in the position where I like I need men. <laughs> I have no troops. The economy is down the pan. The army is non-existent. We are in a tricky situation. That's really the early game. You you literally you have you, your choices make or break a campaign. Like you really do. And offensive siege battles is where it, where the issue lies, because no matter what you do, a siege battle is going to lose you a good chunk of your army, unfortunately. I mean, it depends on the foe fo you're fighting. And the javelins, <laughs> against javelins, is almost certainly going to result in a lot of deaths, I'm afraid to say. Yeah, I think an hour and a half is a decent first episode recording, and it's... Probably doesn't make up for the absence of four months, but um, hopefully it makes up for something, I guess. But yeah, it's good to come back. I'm happy to be doing YouTube again. It's going to take a bit of time to get used to, obviously, recording and whatnot. Um, I don't know how often I'll be recording, uploading, I mean, oh, recording, I think my next recording session, but well, I definitely have three or three Monday, so I'll probably get some videos in then. Um, after that, I'm not sure, it depends when I have time. There's, I think there's, uh, I don't know if my girlfriend's home sent going yet. There's like a uh, work event, uh, like a nightclub, like it's booked out for like people living. That's what I did. I did that last year. Um, yeah, so I just come fight his next army. I mean, Tremax probably got a decent command point since then. Trait increase, fiercing battle. Yep. Yeah. Minus one command defending. Yeah, he's pretty good. In he's basically a nine star general essentially at this point. Plus one commanding. So yeah, he's basically ten stars. Tremax is basically. An absolute chad <laughs> of a commander. So Balloons are that's is a castle, which is nice. But yeah, uh, there's a nightclub event like, but I, I remember I did it last year. I mean, there's a few other like ones they're doing. So my girlfriend goes to that. Uh, that could be an evening to record, um, probably a late evening, I imagine, because it. I mean, the nightclub goes until like one in the morning, but I don't think my girlfriend will stay that late. Last time it was like eleven, she came back or midnight, I think it was. Um, which is fine. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know if she will do that yet. I have no idea yet. <laughs> That's a couple weeks away. But if she does, that'll give up, give me some time to record in the evening, uh, that evening. And other days, it might just like, if I, if I have a an early finish from work, I might get some stuff done. If I start late at work, I might get some things done, maybe. It very much depends on how much time I got. Um, and how I'm feeling as well. Like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna push out videos, like, willy-nilly, and I'm not gonna, like, sacrifice my health to get the videos out. Like, I'm just not, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to be dedicated to YouTube as much as I used to be now. Like, it's just going to, YouTube's a hobby, it's fun. Stuff that I want to do for fun, it's entertaining, it keeps me entertained. It may or may not lead to a second income at some point. I mean, YouTube's very unlikely to provide much of an income. But if I get some money, then, eh, all good. Um, it seems God's just going to probably go for Paragon loss, which, to be honest, that army is exactly massive. Um... So they could lose that, maybe, and then maybe we can fire a Grandos for us. Maybe. I should press M, should I merge some of the uh, units? That doesn't matter. Um, doesn't really matter. Yes? Huh? Where'd you go? I don't know yet. I'll let you know if she is. <laughs> right, I'll let you know soon. I'm recording them. They saw the feature in the video. Oh, um, I will. <laughs> that everyone was my dad. And um, that guy's very crap general, but yeah, I'll take him. Let me open the window, it's pretty true because the window is kind of shit. I can't need a general, so I will take him. What does the army got on it? I think. Yeah, could take it. I mean, eh, maybe. My lord. Approaching quietly. <laughs> you can actually hear my dad in the video, but whatever. That's my, like, uh, that's my thing, like, I'm not going to edit out of light interruptions. <laughs> that answer. <laughs> it's very interesting, I'm sure somebody might like, be interested as well what's going on. That's one general for us. I mean, he's not the best general in the world, but like he's a do. <laughs> oh, where did he spawn? He spawned up in Outford. 
Yes. My lord. Um, I'll stick him with um. I didn't see. Uh, I want to see his body anyway, so I'll send him up. No, I'll just take him up. He comes with Clan Heralds. So oh, that'd be our bodyguard. That's fine. That's cool. Nice. I'll leave this now. Uh, I'm third. Sorry, so he asked me questions. Um, when is Kaylee finishing? Oh, that's her name. Uh, <laughs> when is Kaylee finishing work? I don't know because I still haven't, replied, haven't got a message from her, so I couldn't tell you in the slightest when she's finishing work. So I do not know. <laughs> uh, should kill his bucks. That's enough problem. But yeah, I like I can't do anything. I don't know when she's finishing work <laughs> until she messaged me. I do not know. Uh, oh, I could have told him she was on. He's on Dragon. I know that, but. She's operating dragon. Um, because if you didn't know, she's a ride operator, which is what I used to be before I left. Um, and she's still enjoying her job, like, she's enjoying it. <laughs> it was the complete opposite, like, she enjoyed it and was looking forward to it, and then I was just completely done with it. <laughs> I was like, nah, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yes, my lord. Right, you know what I'm gonna do? Is <laughs> taking a fort? Oh, I thought Gondor starts off with this fort. Stopping here. Uh, do you know what, man? So I'm gonna turn 10 and then we'll wrap it up there. Oh, they've got stuck at and then there was sneaky goblins. And the question is, is K going out? I don't know. <laughs> do not know. I don't know. If she, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's going out. I don't know if she's coming here. I don't honestly know. Uh, I hate questions that I can't give anyone an answer to. I just, uh, I'm like, I feel useless. <laughs> I can't give you anything. Is she going out? No idea. Is she finishing work? I've no idea. <laughs> uh, oh well. I mean, you know, obviously, I'm obviously gonna let them know when, like, if I know information, like, I'll let them know. But like, if I don't, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh, marry Don Kaifoff, get some kids sometime. Because we are playing by family tree, so these three generals is all we have. Unless I do adoptions, but I'm not really keen on adoption, generally speaking. I just don't. Eh. Adoptions? Nah, not really my thing. I know, I like to, like, build my family rather than, like, adopt general, adopt general, adopt general. I can't. There's no family building. Which I feel like it's a bit like, yeah. <laughs> right. And also, more. Let's see if Twin Hit goes for that, I suppose. Yes, my lord. Um, oh, there it is. Here's our aisle. Please accept the alliance. Yes! I accept this wonderful deal yes! <laughs> Get in there! Right. No, I mean, I'll see if they take the Grand Alliance to arm one at it. Um, but I'll see if they... That's a sweet. I forget how far away the armor off is. Um, I'll see if they go for that or not. If not... I'll uh, move on it myself, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, are you gonna be in the green? Yes, yeah, though, surely we're making money. That's good, it's good. It's not a lot, but we're getting there. Uh, Lion Bridge still, can't build anything there, can't build anything there. Mason's Guild House, we'll go for that soon. If you need that, we will upgrade the settlement and we have to get that. Mm. Yeah, Master Mason's Hall, and they have the normal Mason's Hall for now. I'm pretty sure it's just out for that gets us big, the uh, Mason's Guild House. Actually, let's actually see what we can actually get that we don't have. Envoy Barracks just requires the Great Hall, gives them a Bax Toy, which I think. Do we have that? Uh, no. The Fisheries, we can update the Fisherman's, Fisherman's Guild House, got a Town Health Building, Herbalist, and then we have the Apothecary. Garrison Halls, just keeps upgrading the Garrison, get a few more units. The town hall to the Royal Hall. Entertainment. Which we already got in, so all good. Uh, Gavrin Halls, Drinking Hall, Feast Hall, and the Travers Lodge. Arts Guild. Oh, this warning, the Discord is still up and running, by the way. Uh, you may remember I had to actually uh, re restart the Discord last year due to unforeseen circumstances. I'll go into it now. I've, I've spoken about it before. Like, yeah, I can't be asked to go through it again. But essentially, something happened. My account was on a uh, server that sh I shouldn't really be on. Uh, well, that makes it sound like I'm in the wrong. I'm not in the wrong. Basically, someone, some idiot on the server that I was in sent fucking racist shit. Was apparently saying racist shit on the server that we had no knowledge about. 
Because the server was fucking overpopulated as shit, so we had like hardly any mo moderators could see what was going on. And so essentially, uh, these users went over to Flame and other Discord, basically caused trouble. And these guys came back and noticed that there was uh, racist stuff and decided to report the whole Discord, which got my account banned and a bunch of shit kicked off. So, yeah, so basically, I don't have that account anymore. I have the old Discord, like it's still around, but I wouldn't recommend joining it. There's a few videos that I can have my old Discord probably. Link still on there, so if you do join it, just leave that one. If you if it if it seems empty, it's not because like I mean the updated link is on my homepage on the channel. So if you like confused as to where like the main one is, just go there. It's all there. Let's get normals. Uh, we'll get here. Ah, and we've clan seats. Take recoil. This is the one we need to build at some point when we get um uh far bad back, which obviously if it enables us to train the take recoil across the Tory. So we're rid all that when we through to or build it. The clan Master Mustergrounds, clan Mook Barracks, which we get different ones, I think, depending on what like settlement we're in. Um uh, Farbad Bridge we have to rebuild, I'm pretty sure to re to re um reform the Kingdom of Art, Athamore. Region travel goes, build income goes up, so pretty nice. Uh regional retraining, the way station, I think it's still around, I think that's still using to and conquer. Other Hunter's Guild, Mines, Livestock Farming, which we don't have any... We have Falani Herd, isn't it? That's where we got our cavalry. Which is quite niche. Uh, master Builders, yeah. Ports and Reds. Yeah, that's basically that. Um, for those wondering what kind of stuff we can build. Nothing over the top unique, because we're only... You know, End of Life's not... It's not like over the top unique like, like it would be for Dunedain or Gondor or Khazad Doom or like any of the... Uh, other f like elven faction, stuff like that, stuff with loads of detail. And wife is just a uh, chill middle men faction. Oh my god, fucking Isengard is literally taking Karas. Of course, I have. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, my problem, my list of problems goes higher. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably have the first episode of this up quite soon, probably today. And then the. Pro I imagine CK2 will be followed afterwards. Your orders. Um, so, yeah, we'll have CK2 afterwards, the first episode for that. And then we'll probably have My Lord. And tell what I'm talking. We'll probably have the yeah, the first episode of the CKD series. And then what I might do is try and do like an episode basis, so we have like uh one episode of Ed Wife, one episode of CK2, and then in that particular order, or we we'll try and keep that order, or I may like might wanna play if I wanna play something, I'm gonna play it, kind of thing. So, you know, we'll start with two series for now. If we go into any more, we will. I will try and make a promise to finish every series we do in some shape or another. Even if it's like, even if I'm like, even if it's like to the point where I'm like, even if I'm making a video, like an end video of like, oh, by the way, the series is ending, I will make that video. We're Vegan the Conqueror and I didn't really have a chance to really make a end video. I didn't, didn't, you know, for those wondering, you know, what's going on with that, I, I told you. Basically, <laughs> the series has ended. It's over. Goodbye. I'll probably will rehash that again in the CK2 series as well. Uh, oh, we failed the mission. I'm sorry that Rohan was a bunch of assholes, yes, but <laughs> I couldn't do. As you wish. Without question, tomorrow's journey planned out. Stopping here. Um, still the same, yeah. Gondor's still powerful. I want an alliance with Gondor, so that way I don't have to worry about my southern border. Do you know I'm curious to see if Gondor wins something in the turn again? Ha ha ha! No. What I will do is send these guys up. My lord. I did them out north of that. As you wish. See if we go into height. Oh, there we go. What is it you wish to discuss? Give me alliance, give me alliance. It's yes! Good to see we could reach an agreement. Another proposition for us? I liked my method no, no. no. Well, that seemed fruitful. Fair right, let's go speak to Aragorn and the Junior Dane. Yeah, so yeah, we're definitely going to lean towards good tomorrow. factions. Because it just, I mean, otherwise weak enough as it is, we can't have <laughs> Gond uh, Gondor coming after us, or the High Elves, or bloody the Junior Dane, or Bree, the Hobbits. <laughs> like, we can't have that as well. Dunnan is going to be our primary enemy for this series, and probably Isengard as well. And Rohan, if they continue to be bastards. But I'd try and avoid attacking Rohan. If Rohan attack me, I'm pretty sure what will happen is that if the AI always tends to side with the the faction that's the the defender. So if God, so if Rohan attacks me, um, Gondor should hopefully join my side. Hopefully, I'll try and make sure my relations are nice and high. If 
But I think I think normally our our items actually bad ran. No, reasonable. Hmm. I think uh, maybe it's game set like Rohan doesn't actually uh, like us that much. Maybe we'll be in the green next time. Which is awesome. Let's see if Gondor is successful. But yeah, stuff that I want to do is England focus. I guess uh, maybe we'll do serious focus on England. I guess makes most sense. Uh, maybe Empire Turtle War, Great Britain at some point. That would be kind of fun to do. I was uh, I haven't played Empire in a long time, so that'd be kind of fun. Let's see if Gondor takes it. Oh, we've got reinforcements, but they're not taking it this turn, no. Unless uh, the rebels sally out, of course. Um, but yeah, whatever stuff is England related I could do. Maybe some like, um, or maybe the Last Kingdom one, actually, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, probably see, I kind of want to do some Seeker 2 vanilla stuff again. Um, maybe some like stuff, because the 1066 start days was really interesting. There's a lot of people that are claiming England's like claiming the uh, throne for England at the time, and so it could be so we could like set up like a massive like sets of wars and stuff, uh, make it really interesting, uh, which would be cool. Uh, let's take our um, my lord. Orders. My lord. Yes. which is kind of dangerous because they could get ambushed. Let's move south. I'll grab that fort one at it. A mighty host. I'll put the watchtower on here. I don't think we can build while we're going now. That's why we're on our way. Another town, uh, no. Not really, we just probably build troops, I guess. Yeah. Hey, a new phone member. Hey, my, uh, um, well, um, my brother in law had a daughter. Nice. Extra marriage. Some points. Yes. All right, let's go speak to Aragorn. As you wish. Further south. Um. Imagine you further on towards Dol Amroth. Yes. Seventeen. I want to kind of see if they take it. I end off. I'll grab that fort on the way there. If Gondor take Faragronos and they take Faragronos, I just have to move north and go from there. Really, Isengard's sort of like we have all this region. Isengard literally blocking us off. I might even move up to Mos Malfin, take that. Right, let's see if they take it. Sorry if it's going on a bit longer, but then again, I haven't recorded in ages, so it makes up for no videos for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, we might do some Seeker 2 stuff with England, maybe. I'm interested. See if, uh, if we can win the throne for like a different claimant or something, maybe. And the 1066 start, because that's always the start day I prefer to play England, really. Or maybe the early, early period is kind of fun. And they have taken Faragrondos, fair enough. Okay, but well, the Gondor can have that. It's a shame, because I kind of like to have like little the whole like sea, western sea bit, but that's fine. We just have to move north. Um, I'll grab that fort. Oh, for fuck's sake. So it bloody begins. Isengard's come for fucking outfit. Of course they have. The enemy has Please tell me they can't take it back. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to move our reinforcement over and repel them, aren't we? Which we'll save for the next episode, because otherwise it'll go on too long. And um, I still haven't got <laughs> a message from my girlfriend, so I have no idea what she's doing yet. So I'm going to go downstairs and be like, yep, no idea. <laughs> I should probably be able to upload this video in one go, really. Your orders. Bison has to clear As war on me, which means Dullum can follow. Yay. And Lance of Dinner Day. Let's go grab my lights from yes. Breland. Which Bree's like there, I think. Tomorrow's somewhere journey is it like out. here i think stopping here two more gold one thought i knew it was a matter of time till they're going to come for us here they come as we expected now what they have right let's move my spy up there's no point in being in the south my lord. Approaching let's try and see what they got there i might quickly I grab this yes, my lord. Or... We have that's ours we're staying there for now, and I'll start moving. I'll move them up north. Let's give us a bit of free upkeep for a turn. Um, I'll move my fleet north just to see if I can block any ports in the north. No, I can't. We can scout a bit. Oh my lord! We will not be going for long term. Holy hell! That's a massive army, Christ! Yeah, that's yeah. We're not, but Siduri maybe. <laughs> Not taking that. 
Absolutely not. Uh, right, let's pull our reinforcements in. We are going to have to fight this. Okay, not this turn. Because I cannot risk on, um, Ising on taking it. Now, if we stand... I'm trying to think, so I want all my armies to be in the field of battle, so we move you over here. I think I can't move my army where I want it to. Yes. I move you here. You I should be able to sally it. out with you. There we go. We shall engage. If we lose, uh, oh, that's going to die. What have we got? We've got Dunedin Long Spears, Urukite Archers, Orphan Bane Guard, Raiders and Spear Guard. It probably is more of a good idea for us to strike now. Because if we don't strike now, they're going to take uh, our capital one. That's that's us screwed, basically. <laughs> if they take that, we're done. Oh, I don't want to build that. We are, like, in big trouble. we big doo-doo this time. <laughs> well, we're going to build troops, because Isengard are coming. So we need to muster our men and prepare to repel them, pretty much. Isengard is with... Um, Isengard. Gondor's with us now, so hopefully Gondor might be pushing up north here to push in against Isengard. Uh, now their own allies under attack. Hoping they do. Is this Gondor at war with Isengard? No, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they will. Like it's... Yes, my lord. Yeah, it makes sense for them to be attacking each other now. My spy will head off and have a little look around up towards Karis, which seems to be undefended, so I could possibly bring um, Tremak to go grab that. Yes, nine star general. Like, Tremak is becoming a beast of a warrior. Like, he is so powerful. Um, he's putting everyone else to shame. <laughs> yeah. Ulas and Don Kaif are just being put to shame at the moment. I will do that battle with Don Kaif, so I'll do it now. Well, no, I won't do it now, but I'll pause. I'll do that. I'll do a save, and I will save the battle, and we'll fight that in the next episode. Um, what's head now? It's... You know what? I can't want to fight him now. I've got no message from my girlfriend, so I'm literally going to come and say, I have no idea. So I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> Let's kill some Isengard's troops, because it'd be fun. Why not? Uh, the armies are going to be spread about, so I need to like regroup them a bit. I'm going to quickly open my window. Yeah, my dad was right. It's pretty fucking hot in here. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yeah. Oh, don't even hear any background noise. It's one of the fact that I most use this thing ever, because I just whacked my microphone. Sorry. That probably was really loud mic, Fred. Sorry. <laughs> my only worry, lads, is that they may run away before we get chance to send them to hell. Uh, Don Kai's funny man. Funny man. Funny man. This is a comedic one. <laughs> yeah, you might hear some background noise to cars, but I do tell the cars to stop. <laughs> Right, no, we can't have any. We can't have any cards. The main road's shut because I'm recording. Today, yeah. And my marksmen look really nice. Look at that. Oh, I like the little feathers in the head. Give me some uh, Roman vibes. Easy the towel that we've seen before. I don't know where they're coming from. That's oh, on the field. Oh yeah, because we're attacking. Ah, uh, yeah, we are. Um. Right there. The marksman can in firing. Right, he's behind me. I can hear over that. Right. You guys start moving in my position. Will you grip up on me? Right, you move over that. And you guys are here. Um, separate unit. Uh, right, okay. Uh, you move up that way. Right, and we group up on the uh, Don Kai. Because we're, oh, God, they're going to sit in the trees, aren't they? I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. They're going to be sitting in the trees the entire battle. I can't see Jackal. They seem to be re actually retreating. Okay. Fine. Right. Okay. So they seem to be retreating. But that forest is pretty massive. They are going to hog the forest, aren't they? Yup. Let's see bugger off over here. If we can chase them out, maybe. Let's see where they're going. They might just move back a bit just to regroup a bit. 
Well, let's just see where they are. Alright. These go out of the trees. Oh, you scumbuckets. They're gonna sit there, aren't they? Brilliant. That's fun. So I can't see Jackal. <laughs> she can't see a thing. Oh, I hate the trees. I turned the trees off. Wait, where's, where's, where's a turn off tree barn? Oh, wait. I bloody hate the, <laughs> the trees. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I guess we have no choice but to move in. Uh, you're all kind of Harold, so you are Japanese, yeah. Right, you guys can fire things so you can. I don't know why you haven't moved into the city. Okay. Oh, we haven't seen the uh, Phantom Bodyguards yet, have we? Very chaotic and tribal. Big shields, I love them. Uh, I've seen Phantom Heralds. Phantom Heralds. Right, I guess we just group up and then just move in against them. On a, if you go this way, um, say only eight. Oh, maybe no. Do uh, you know what? Fuck it. Go in the go in a long line and we're just charging. Right, we're moving. Okay, yeah, the window's definitely helping. <laughs> Yeah, please don't expect videos to be like on time and like on a hell of a schedule. That just not, isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. Like, uh, keep in mind this is a hobby; it's for fun. I'm not going to be like holding myself to a professional schedule. Like, <laughs> you'll get videos as much as I can give you videos. Is <laughs> the moral of the story. If there aren't any videos for a time, then no, I haven't taken a break. I just haven't had time to record. <laughs> I know, I know many of you that have followed the channel for a while and they're straight into breaks. So I remember I did a break from like 2017, 2019, in the early days of the channel. Back when videos, before 27, between 2015 and 2017, videos were like a much lower quality. Like, no, I, like most of them are private now. <laughs> My girlfriend's trying looking for them online now, you can't find them. <laughs> Maybe like a reaction video would be really funny. Let's move up. No, everything's on the fire well. Yeah. Alright, move up. Now I've got the bloody hill advantage. This is the one issue with the hit the AI actually being smart. How dare they use their brains? Right. Don't no, no, rob the hill at suicide. Yes, yeah, so we lose, we lose our die we got. And we really cannot afford a loss at this point. But that's just bad. All bad's no good, as my girlfriend says. <laughs> I usually said it about a dog. <laughs> um, you've been all bad's no good when a dog does something bad. Um, I've started to say it to Bella to be honest, it's funny. <laughs> Bella, you we should all know, is the cat by this point. I, mean, I used to have Smudge quite a few years back, if any of you remember that. But obviously, Smudge is no longer with us, I'm afraid. Which is a shame. But such is life. <laughs> Not everyone can live forever. I mean, like, some of them could be in ambush mode, which concerns me. Oh, here they are. No, not ambush mode. They're they're in plenty of mode. They're in they're in annoying mode. All right, stop firing. Fire! <laughs> we fire me, really. Oh, I'm just saying that. I'm gonna sit up the hill and just. No, you come on. Here we go. Alright, start firing. You guys are good enough fighters, so I'm happy to be in these now. I mean, this level spit is going to be a pain up the ass. They seem to be targeting my general. Of course they are. Alright, pull back. Run. Well, I need your boys in positions. Oh god, they are coming upon us now. Move back a bit. 
Do you know what? This is infuriate. Do you know what? I'm going to try and pull out and try and get a better battle position because I can't see shit. I really can't see a thing. Right. Like that. And get the archers there. Just get out of the bloody trees because you can't see shit. Please don't tell me you've run into the enemy. Just take that good. Might be a few casualties getting shot at, but at the same time I can't afford them to I can't I can't not see the battle. As always we are in trouble. Please tell me they're following me out into, this, out into the wilderness so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> like, it is bad, I can't see. No, I'm going to go back to the bloody tree. For goodness sake, come out of the trees, you howdy little bastards. Right, you're in position. Right, go into one big group and just move up. I'm trying. And try and circle it like so like this. Right, move up. Isengard's so sneaky. Um, in terms of development of other mods, I really haven't really been keeping that much of a track of it, but I know um I think DAC version 5 had a uh, hotfix I think added to it. But I didn't download it because I already edited the files and I wasn't doing them again. <laughs> Not that I face a lot of work, but I'm just, just, once I've done something I don't want to do it again really. I'm sure the hot base is going to really affect a lot. Let's see this. Where are they now? Are they down there? Move. Oh, you hate Isengard so much. I'm going to hate them after this campaign. Remember, Isengard Don and I refused to fight in the deck in the Chaosdom series because I was like, I knew I'm going to be fighting them at some point. And here we are, fighting them at some point. <laughs> that time has come. Right, where. Okay, they're just sitting over there. They've... Uh, I can't see, so let's just hope to God that's the right position. Right. So far, they should charge, hopefully. Or they might not, or they might just sit behind us and do nothing. Uh, we're gonna. Let's say. Oh, there they are. Where are they going now? <laughs> Just stay still. Stay still and let me kill you. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what other like games will do as well with the channel. I mean, Tell World Ticket 2 is like the main tool. I guess so, it makes sense to do that. Maybe we'll look at doing Skyrim potentially, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to like, overdo it really with like loads of nice videos and content. Exciting I might be recording like other games. So I've never played the Transformers games, but I probably won't be playing them again for the channel. I played them. I'd rather play those types of games in my own time. Um, I've got the same map far away. Um, closer. They keep edging away every time I come closer. Right, move up. That should be enough. You should bring him out to charge in theory. No? We do. Let's look at the Urukai units while watching them just do nothing. <laughs> I mean, I say do nothing, they are shooting us with arrows, so like, they are doing something. As the long spears have done in the troops that we're going to be seeing more of soon. I think mean, Isengard's going to be the most interesting fight that we have. Dun and. Eh, I don't know, Dun and troops are kind of cool. Then we remodified and whatnot, so they'll pretty do something. I can see just about what I'm doing. Let me up. Let's see if they back away. Yeah, they're going in. I might be in skirmish mode. Yeah, I think they are. Right, just, just when they get so annoying, I'm gonna send them in. Here we go. Here we go. Where are we going? Are we, we're attacking? Here we go. Fire! Get those javelins off. Now! Not as close. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Can't see shit, so I'm going to have to move forward. Hope to God I'm clicking on the right unit. 
Uh, right. Move you forwards. That's a. Right, I'm going to go around here. This pikey boy is going to be annoying. Go there for me. Can't see jack shit. So let's just hope we're pushing up, moving our troops in the right direction. I'm going to be annoyed if I lose this because, like, <laughs> if I lose it, it would just generally be the fact that I could not see shit. No, uh, down there. I'm getting cornered with that. No. Uh, you guys can fire at them. Okay, you've charged in. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, with the pipes cornered, we just both fire in the arrow archers now. Can't see what's going on. Right, we're in the battle. Seems almost certain. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks for encouraging <laughs> me. Seems Defeat seems almost certain. Oh, from oh. Such tidings does victory oh, now he's changed his mind. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, Isengard's going to be distinctly harder. Dunland, I feel like if you kill enough Dunland troops, I think it's going to become a slog. But don't get me, I can sort of evenly match. I think even Isengard may even be stronger. I bet anyway, if it's a serious we're going to be leading on most of our allies to do all the fighting work and stuff like that. I don't really want to that much, but like, um, we might have to. Let's watch the long spears, dude. It's a bang garden action, some of the facing the other way. Very professional. <laughs> There's an axe been swung at my face, but I'm going to turn the other way, right? <laughs> yeah, they are, they, I remember, I think to myself, oh, they're pretty powerful, and I think, I remember that the AI is stupid in the two, and he, they just die easily. Once you kill that general, it's over. Oh, Christ, where the fuck did that come from? Only half the enemy force okay, remain. that's, that's showed up. God. And I want to remember that all units are the same thing. Weaker than most troops. Yeah, what other films I've seen? Oh, um, Flash. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I saw that oh, Transformers. That was it. And then there was another one I saw. Oh, Spider-Man across. Oh. Which ally is that? I think it's this guy, isn't it? I think he's just died. Yeah, the long spear's got him. He didn't last long, did he? I mean, he had a door before he died, so that's something. But yeah, he's dead. I mean... We can basically send him to his death now, pretty much. Whenever a, body, whenever a general body on you die, I just tend to use him up. Hit the others, just go for it. I mean, a bloody battle. United, we stand. Chase the archers in the field. Or, hang on. Can't see shit. Um, can't see what I'm doing. This is again mightily frustrating. The enemy general abandons his men. Oh, that should be victory in theory. Uh, 85%, that should totally kill a lot of the entire army in theory. There you go. Runs. It's time to press the I mean, we can shoot them, sure, but I don't think we will. It's a general's dead. That's something. Let's see if we can just shoot him, I guess. I'm gonna get many kills at this point. Yeah, we can probably end it. We got that's 92%, that's them gone. Be awed by the victory yeah. we have that's the army dead. Today. Yeah, if you don't know, if you go over 80%, that's some dead. Like this entire army's gone. But that's a two hour video, hope you liked it. <laughs> uh oh, the towns have been pretty good. Glad Harold's fought bravely but died. 
That's one general gone already. <laughs> Probably put him on the front line wasn't the best thing, but his bodyguard was just so good to the point I had to almost have him on the front line to hold the line. But, um, ah, victory, victory. Oh, I'll get the phone call. Um, I'm going to end the video recording here, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Farewell.